back inside now for a little bit. And what we're going to do is prepare the uh, body and neck for the clear coating. We've sprayed our sunburst toner shades on both the body and the neck. And uh, it's very beautiful. I think it looks fantastic. The sides, we also did an Advantage Upscale Model Burst, which leaves the uh, inner bouts unshaded, and then the uh, lower quarters unshaded, and the interior of the cutaways unshaded. There's something you can do to even improve this look now, after you've sprayed your lacquer. And that is, is to clear off the overspray from the interior amber unshaded areas. Now, you got to be careful because these toner shades, these coats, are very thin. And it's very easy to burn through them on the edges, sand through them on a corner, or something like that. So what we want to do is find a way to kind of clear off any of the dark burst spray that may have drifted over into the middle of our shaded areas in the inner bouts and the top and bottom. But we want to do it in a safe way. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a rotary palm sander and I know that sounds scary but it's got a 3000 grit foam pad on it. This 3000 grit is about the equivalency of what paper towels are. Okay, We're going to use a little bit of water, just tap water with a little drop of dish soap in it. and The dish soap acts as a surfactant to keep all the particles and everything suspended within the liquid. Okay, so we're going to spray this down lightly with a little bit of mist of water, maybe two or three spritzes. Well, that was four, but... And then we're going to spray the foam pad a little bit, too, just to moisten that. And then we're going to work our way around the top and the back in a very light fashion. And this is not going to sand off paint. It's really going to kind of clean and scour the top a little bit. And what you'll find after you do that is that the interior of this golden amber burst is going to look lighter in shade and the contrast between it and the dark burst will be greater. So you always, to use a power tool like this, always put the foam pad on the body first before you turn it on. You don't want to get this thing spinning up to full revs and then burn it onto the top. So start with it flat and then we're just going to work in circular passes. Always keep this moving. Very lightly, we're going to scour the whole back of the uh, inner burst. And that's that. Now we're going to use some paper towels, wipe the moisture off. Make sure that the uh, control cavities, the uh, pot holes that are through the top, and the neck joint itself, make sure everything is dried off very well. Moisture can leak into the raw wood surfaces and swell it up, and that's a bad thing at this point of the finish. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this off, dry it off, and then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the top. This is a pad of 4 aught 0 fine steel wool. It's the finest grade commercially that you can get of steel wool. And what we're going to do is actually use this to gently scrub and buff this interior here and that's going to get rid of the overspray that accumulated from spraying these burst edges here. So you just want to go, keep the uh, pad flat on the surface, move very conservatively, and just work up towards from the center of the amber towards each edge of the burst. And you don't need to do very much. A few passes is all you're going to need. But see the difference? There's the uncleaned portion right here. And then this is the portion we just cleaned in the middle. You get a lot more dramatic contrast between the dark and light areas when you do it this way. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. See how this is a dark amber and now this is a lighter gold? That's what we want. Now the next step is to do the same thing to the neck and then what we're going to do is clean this
this body with some naphtha in a paper towel. Naphtha is a degreaser. So any of our skin oils or any of the oils in the uh, stainless steel or the uh, steel wool that you've used, those get deposited, however small, but incrementally on the surface again. And those things cause fish eyes and orange peel and defects in your clear lacquer once you start doing that. So you want to take some naphtha and clean this very, very well and let it dry for about an hour before you attempt to paint it because the naphtha can get into the small. Part of the process to prepare for clear coating is to take a small X-Acto knife, a razor blade, and just lightly scrape away the paint. And it's a very thin coat, the color toner, that's covering the dot. And then, once you've removed it, keep working your way up and clean all the dots. After you've finished cleaning the dots and the paint from with the razor blade knife, Take a tiny little edge corner of some fine aught steel wool and just run it down the edge to smooth out any ragged lacquer edges that may have generated by the uh, scraping. You may feel a slight depression over the dot which is the lacquer been removed, but when we start clear coating we will actually coat that back up and level it. This also, steel wool, will help clean the ends of the frets where you may see some colored toner as well on them. So we want to get everything all shiny and clean and the things that don't have paint, we want to make sure they don't have paint on them before we start clear coating. Because the clear coat seals it all and it's all done from there.